Moving on to changes in temperature. Here's a very important point. A change in temperature will change the value of the equilibrium constant Kc because the value of Kc is temperature dependent. So let's look at the equation for the Haber process. The forward reaction is exothermic. The enthalpy change is negative 92.4 kilojoules per mole. If the forward reaction is exothermic, the reverse reaction is endothermic and the enthalpy change for the reverse reaction is positive 92.4 kilojoules per mole. So for any reaction, if the forward reaction is exothermic, the reverse reaction is endothermic. So let's look at the effect of increasing the temperature in the Haber process. The system will absorb the extra heat, favoring the reverse reaction because it is endothermic. So by increasing the temperature, the extra heat will be absorbed by the reverse reaction because it's endothermic and the yield of ammonia will decrease. Next, the effect of decreasing the temperature. The system will produce heat favoring the forward reaction because it is exothermic and the yield of ammonia will increase. So by decreasing the temperature, the equilibrium shifts to the right because the forward reaction is exothermic. And finally, we look at the effect of temperature on the value of Kc. For an exothermic reaction, increasing the temperature shifts the equilibrium to the left, the reactant side, and decreases the value of Kc. So here we have the equation for the Haber process. The forward reaction is exothermic, so by increasing the temperature, the equilibrium will shift to the left and the value of Kc will decrease. Next, for an endothermic reaction, increasing the temperature shifts the equilibrium to the right, the product side, and increases the value of Kc. Here we have the reaction of hydrogen with carbon dioxide to form water and carbon monoxide. The change in enthalpy for this reaction is positive 41 kilojoules per mole, which means it's an endothermic reaction. So by increasing the temperature, the equilibrium will shift to the right, that's the product side, and the value of Kc will increase. And lastly, changes in temperature. So forward reaction exothermic. If you increase the temperature, the equilibrium will shift to the left and the value of Kc will decrease. If you decrease the temperature, the equilibrium will shift to the right and the value of Kc will increase. If the forward reaction is endothermic, an increase in temperature will shift the equilibrium to the right and the value of Kc will increase. And if the temperature decreases, the equilibrium will shift to the left and the value of Kc will decrease.